BBAC always has multiple shows. Ramp Gallery. Mark Kuchowski. And tonight is the opening, so we're going to have people. Are you Mark? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Want to say a few words about your? <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. Does it work in the past couple years? It's a growing theme, expanding all the time. Good. My name is Gilda. I'm going to put these on my YouTube channel. Yes, I have. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Gilda Ragger. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. I got a Chris geek, so. That's where it was. But this is my job, man. Documenting artists. Fabulous. Someone's got to do it. And there's more people around to do it than we would think. I think there should be even more. Because if it gets people out to see this show, oh, I agree. I oh God, appreciate yeah. it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll try to upload these tonight. Do you know Janet Hamrick? No. You should know her work. Janet Hamrick? Yeah. Antoinette's Weave. Cool. This is about hair? <laughs> Excellent. No, Janet Hamrick is somebody you should know. Are you on Facebook? Yes, I am. I'll, I'll, I'll send you something. Okay, that'd be great. No, 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 no. I want people in. This is an opening. Go back. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I were getting in a picture. No, 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 no. You're, it's, a, it's a film. Oh, okay. <laughs> when did you? These are, these are relatively new. Enamel on Masonite. Mounted on MDF. What's that? MDF is it's a, a multi-dimensional fiberboard. It's this oh. heavy duty, very compressed. It's almost like sand that they compressed, compressed, and that's Oh, nice, it, it kind of looks like sand. It's a sand color board. Yeah. Really thick and heavy. And, and grainy. And when you cut it, you get nice smooth edges. And oh. It's really soft though, so that's why I put the masonite on top. Multi-dimensional. I abstract that's, paintings. I believe that's what it's called. Oh, I'm a total, totally into abstract, abstract paintings. These are actually a lot more representational than previous generations of work. I was into really experimenting with very big, bold, gregarious amounts of color, large canvases. That was what I was doing when I was in grad school. Where did you go to grad school? Minneapolis College of Art Design. MCAT? Uh, yep. I graduated in 99. That one looks this neon. Is, this is kind of an um, ongoing series. See, beneath the surface, there was two, the first two surface. incarnations of these. Um, a little longer, a little thinner. And background, these kind of shapes, and then trees yeah. on the top. And that's when the shapes kind of came off the canvas and became their own entities. And then I just wanted to carry on the surface to see where, or carry on the series where it's and just see where it's kind of beneath the surface. Because I wasn't, I just like the silhouettes of the trees, and then with the shapes behind it, I was like, yeah, it's seems to be something almost sinister happening there. You know, See, I like the, this, that natural... Like unseen, um, you know, almost complication that's happening outside. And so I'm just like, right, let's see where it goes. So, See, I like that because I myself am drawn to um, the abstraction that one can find in nature. Like, I'm really into tornadoes. Mm -hmm. 
and lately I've been doing um, flowers. I looked at your book that you got from the Kresge, but refresh my memory. They are, um, they were a number of paintings uh, of situations having to do with light called Bright Stars at Night. And so it's like the night sky competing with the um, lights from Kleegs and the casinos. I live downtown. Okay. But see, these, I, the, the tree references and then what's underneath and then those pastel colors kind of like sitting in the back. Just really lovely. Do you know the work of uh, Rick Vion? No, I don't. Rick Vion shows with um, um, Kid in Birmingham. He okay. just had a show. And his are very abstract expressions, but he also deals with uh, trees. And, ooh, um, Janet Hambrick has these wonderful, uh, subtle color. Um, situations in her paintings dealing with patterns and they kind of like pull you in. Okay. So I believe that people should know about each other, especially if we live in the same state. Uh, I'll send you information. Yes. The wings of a street angel. Oh my, that kind of fits in with the graffiti show. Yeah. How long does it take you to do one of these pictures? Oh <laughs> yeah, is that, I mean, well, because they look complicated. I mean, yeah. These, look at, I, look at what's, don't, I don't keep track because the yeah. process is so long, and I like the process driven. Yeah. But wow, look at all these paintings. Um, this is this is one of the newest of this. This one. Show. Yeah. I had these two pieces for here for the MFAC. Oh wow! And Did you win a prize? No, I didn't. But I got two of them in, so I was like, "Hey, this yeah." Is cool. And so Mike Denny had a hanging here, and I was like, "Knowing that this show was coming up, I've got to have something big." For this yeah, show. look at this. So, this was oh, several hundred dollars. Easy. I know. Easy. I just. But, People are always I asking I me. I don't think about time. It takes as long as it takes. That's a good answer. Yeah. You know, just that's what I try to tell my students. They're like, "This is taking forever." I'm like, "Are you finished?" No, Mr. B. Where do you teach? I teach this coming year. I'm going to be at Andy Middle School in Bay City, and then I also teach at Delta College. Where is Delta College? Hey, right in between Saginaw and Bay City and Midland. Oh, so you teach you um you I've teach at, like, in, a, in a middle levels. school? I taught from. Preschool through college, so I have not missed a grade. Yeah, but you know what? It's really good to have good painters um, teaching in the uh, K through 12 system. I mean, it's 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 essential. The last, the last eight years, I've been primarily high school, and then last year I did middle school. They call you Mr. P. Mr. P. Yeah. How you pronounce your last name? Petrowski. Petrowski. Yeah, that gets to be kind of a handful. Petrowski, because I have a friend, Jim Puchdowski. He teaches at the uh, University Liggett School in Gross Point, and uh, his students call him Mr. P. Also. <laughs> no two are alike. Even one drop is too much. Now oh, this is on canvas. Yes. The early ones of the series are on canvas, and then I, because I hadn't stretched in the studio, and so that's what I used. And then the more I got involved with the enamels, I realized that I need the support of the panel to push yeah. back, because the, the paint was just so temperamental with the dry time and everything else. Yeah, and you're using enamel. I'm really into surfaces. So, Kenya, do you use a tool or a brush? I or? use a brush. Yeah. A lot of series sevens. Um, awesome. Double zero threes. You ever done anything like with encaustic? Oh, Isn't this beautiful? I did some encaustics when I was in grad school. Um, 
a couple pieces since then, but not in the past decade. I'm really glad I I, I came here to the the, um, the graffiti show because there's uh, one of my students is in it, or ex students, or former students. She's not an ex, okay. but then I saw this and I said, whoa. BBAC does really good shows. I think the black and white ones are my favorites. I just love the starkness of it. And the shaped canvas. I mean, I have this idea for a class called Off the Wall and 